This spotlight modifier for aperture lights will change your life. Just kidding, it's not that serious, but it's a really cool modifier. It will save a lot of time and effort. In short, this is just a projector mount that creates like a spotlight look, and it has different cutters from the top and bottom where you can cut the light into a specific slash of light. And you can also use gobos with it. So these gobos have different shapes and you just insert it right into the spotlight mount and you can create different shapes like you're seeing here right behind me. I'm just using a window shape and you can also blur it out using the, the lens itself. There's one more thing you can buy for this. It's called an iris. I think it's about 50 bucks from B&H and you can insert that into the spotlight. And what that lets you do is it will cut the actual shape. It won't actually make the shape smaller or bigger, but it will just cover a smaller area of it. And I'll show you what that looks like. It works with all aperture COBs from the 60D all the way to the 300D Mark II. Here are some test shots that I was able to do with it. So this is the first shot right here. Literally just shine the light with some sort of like a, a bush gobo. And I just added fog and that's all I did. And the reason it looks nice, I think is because of this fridge. It has that glow to it but also the fog kind of makes or breaks the shot. Without the fog, it looks a lot more empty. But yeah, this is one example of what you can do with it, especially if you had only one light, this would be a really smart way of using it. It's another example right here. And this was actually competing with daylight and the light here was still only at about 50 or 65% intensity. Um, so another good reason to use the 300C is not just for RGB, but also it's just brighter than the 150C. Here's another example, and I love this so much. This was not using a gobo at all. It was just the normal spotlight, and they just used the cutters to shape it out. And because of the way this den is laid out, you could see that you're only getting the slash on the outer walls and on my face. So it's creating a really good, really nice emphasis that would otherwise be really hard to achieve with just like flags. Even barn doors would be a little bit harder to do this with. A spotlight mount really gives you more flexibility. And you can blur this or unblur this however you want. So just another example of the window blinds. And I also tried it with just the spotlight shooting right behind my head. And then another more, uh, just kind of a moody scenario with, uh, with some fog. But yeah, this spotlight is great because it saves you from using things like these where you would either have to buy them pre-made for like 30 or 40 bucks per gobo. This isn't really a gobo, but this is what the gobo is essentially replacing. Um, but you'd have to buy them separately or you have to DIY them, meaning you have to buy some foam core and cut them like this manually. So I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend two days just cutting a bunch of cardboard and carrying like 20 of them with me on every shoot on the, ch off chances that I might use them versus just carrying these. Not only that, but it also takes out the difficulty of actually setting this up because you have to set this up further away from the light. So what that means is you need two stands, one for the light and one for this. And then you have to finesse the spacing of this. You have to put this away at a certain angle from the light and shoot through it at the perfect angle and if you shoot through it and it's not blurry enough or if it's too blurry, then you have to work with the distance again. And that's just a lot of time wasted. Whereas with this spotlight modifier, you could just put it on and all you have to do is push it back or forward, depending on how big you want the gobo to look, but everything else you can just control right from the spotlight and it cuts the time in half or even more. So it's really, not only is it a cool gadget, but it also actually cuts a lot of time. And that's really important for corporate work where you might only have 30 minutes to set up for an interview scene. Whereas for something narrative, you, you might have like two hours or something. But yeah, I hope this was helpful and showed you a little bit of what you can do with this thing and why it's really good. Uh, I think it's totally worth the price and it cuts out a lot of time and effort from your work and it makes the work look a lot better. See you later.